Welcome to the Multi-Tracker iPad app installation and user guide. To install the application, head to the App Store on your iPad. In the search function, look for the Multi-Tracker app by Song Galaxy. You'll see the app pop up. Make sure to select the Song Galaxy Multi-Tracker app. Select the download button to begin the installation. Once the installation is finished, tap the icon to open the application. Select Load to load a song. You'll see from the list the demo song La Bamba can be selected. A new feature is that of integrating our application with Dropbox. To use this feature, open the menu by clicking the cog button in the top left corner. From there, select Dropbox. If it's your first time using the application, you'll need to log in with your details. You'll also need to allow the application to work with Multitracker. Once Dropbox is connected, you can now search your folders for your Multitrack files. Select the one you wish to download and click Download. Once it's complete, select OK from the prompt. Another great feature of the Dropbox integration is the ability to upload your files once you've edited them and saved them. Once you've saved the track, return to the Dropbox menu. Select your new file and click Upload. Our new application is easy to use. Let's look at a few of the features. Select the cog menu. From here you can see you can change the count in sound to one suitable to you. The same can be said for the click sound. From the same menu you can also select the stereo mode. And you can also select a count in option for a few bars of count in. Let's hear how that sounds. If your file has many different tracks, you might need to scroll through to see the ones you want to adjust. On the main screen, you can also adjust the master volume. Use the control in the far left. Each of the different tracks comes with its own pan control. To adjust, simply select and drag it either to the left or to the right. You'll notice in our example here, we're focusing on the lead vocal. Another great feature are the M and S buttons. These buttons can be used to mute or solo out a track. For example, looking at the lead vocals, if you press the M button, it will mute the lead vocal. This will allow you to use the file as a backing track. The S buttons allow you to solo a track. This isolates the track and allows you to hear just that instrument. Great for practicing your solo parts. Other controls include adjusting the tempo. If you look at the bottom, the tempo is set to 69. This can be increased or decreased according to your performance. There is also a pitch controller. This controller allows you to adjust your mix by up to six semitones, plus or minus. A great tool for adjusting the track to suit your vocal range. Once you have perfected your own mix, you want to save it. Select the menu using the cog button and select Save Mix Down. You'll then be able to adjust the name of your track. When you've finished, simply select Save. As the track is saving, you'll notice a progress bar at the bottom.
Thank you for watching the Song Galaxy Multitracker App Guide. You can download the app now at the App Store. Don't forget to visit our website www.songgalaxy.com.